Good morning and welcome to Take Back Your Life. Today we're going to discuss on how to quit drinking and or doing drugs, strategies for getting sober, strategies for staying sober, and reaching out for support, which we discuss in every single segment that we do. Now, after we discuss these uh, particulars, then we're going to get into my contact information and then jump from there directly into how to reach out for support. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Beginning to quit to do alcohol and or drugs. Talk to your doctor. Why is that important? It is important for two particular reasons. A, it is because the doctor can lay out a game plan on you initially stopping to drink and initially stopping to do drugs. And he can also help you with possibly alleviating some of that stress by medicating you or giving you some sort of medication which will uh, help you throughout the initial stages of uh, the quitting stage. Change your attitude about quitting. Quitting is not a setback. Quitting is a plus. It's, it's a motivator. We spoke about motivation yesterday during my uh, video. And motivation is a big plus. So when we are talking quitting, we are talking winning. To quit is to win. To continue is to lose. So what you want to do is change your whole attitude. Show motivation towards your quitting. Try to pick up some quitting dates. In other words, if today is Wednesday and you want to do it for Thursday or Friday, that is your goal. We spoke about action, action plans. That is your action plan. Come up with a date of quitting. If you want to do it right now, that's great. Get rid of all bottles, cans, marijuana, cocaine, crack, whatever your drug or alcohol is, get rid of it. Get it out of your house, whether it's today or tomorrow or whenever your action plan takes effect. I recommend that if you're going to even wait two days to get rid of it now to prep yourself. Feel your feelings. What does that mean? To feel your feelings is how do I feel about quitting? Am I ready for quitting? What happens if I relapse? These are all feelings that you might be having and these are feelings that we do discuss in this video and also in past videos and, and future videos. As far as the relapse, it is a major feeling that everybody has, but don't worry. Don't put yourself with people or situations that will make you drink or do drugs again. Stay away from bars as much as you can until you're comfortable enough. Don't hang around with people that are consistently and constantly utilizing drugs or alcohol stay away from that so those are the beginning of quitting uh, highlights that you that you can follow now strategy for getting sober the initial stage reduce the quantity of alcohol or drug intake why do I say that some people that hit rock bottom like I did eliminated it 100 percent at that particular time however there were times six or seven times before then that I stopped drank stopped drank relapse after relapse slowed down by slowing down it gives you a goal of eliminating let's say today is Wednesday again and I'm quitting for sure 100 percent Friday if you usually have two beers or three or four cut down to half that the next day and then an, another half the following day and then totally wean yourself off. Have food before you drink or you do your drugs. And I'm not promoting doing uh, drinking and drugging here. What I am saying is before you wean yourself down, make sure you have food. It's an absolute. You need to coat your stomach. Drink a lot of water. That's more for the alcohol. But what you're doing is then you're um, you're kind of substituting the alcohol with water you're filling yourself up with water so drink a lot of water that is important okay revise recipes that call for alcohol there are so many recipes out there whether it being pasta or meats or even drinks eliminate eliminate the alcohol we spoke about four segments ago about uh, um, about 
not having a cocktail, but we have mocktails. I do have the recipes. I believe there were 10. If you'd like to have them, you can certainly um, get in touch with me. We'll go over the contact information later. Mocktails, not cocktails. Don't try to explain yourself about quitting to people. You don't owe anybody an explanation. You do deserve to know why for yourself. Why are you quitting and why don't you need to tell people or explain to people? It's because really it is your choice, it is your body, it is your future. By explaining, people put in too many questions on you which make you think so. You don't need to explain yourself to people. If you are a scheduled drinker, meaning I drink every day at four, not me per se, I'm just saying I being in general, change your routine. If you drink at four today and you drink at four every day, Make it 6 o'clock tomorrow until you're ready to get off totally. Just change the routine around because that will throw you off track. Don't let guilt consume you. Because you're slowing down and you're not going full steam ahead today, but maybe in two days you feel guilty about it. Don't because if you're slowing down, you're going ahead. Do you realize that you are now moving to eliminate alcohol and or drugs you're you're actually succeeding at that so don't be uh, be held back because of the guilt because just even watching this video and listening to what I have to say and even attempting to do what I'm telling you is a hundred percent plus for you and by all means if there is a relapse do not go back into the old abuse do not go into your old habits Dust your knees, pick yourself up, take your self inventory, and start again. Start all over again. It doesn't matter. I had to do it six, seven times before I hit rock bottom. Now, we're going to talk about strategies for staying sober. The last one was the strategies for getting sober, the first one was how to quit. So, we go from quit to strategies of getting sober, and now this is the most important other than the last one which is really important also but this is the most important this is strategies for staying sober buy a sober wallet what does that mean all the money you're saving on not doing drugs and not drinking put that money into a wallet which is your sober wallet Watch that wallet fill up tremendously. Use that money as a Christmas club. Use it for a vacation. Use it for gifts for loved ones. Buy yourself a new car eventually. That is a sober wallet. That uh, money that you are saving from not drinking, from not doing drugs, should go into that wallet, and that is your savings. Now, buy a small piece of inexpensive jewelry as a reminder of sobriety. When I say inexpensive, I mean inexpensive. Look at mine. All it is is a little bracelet, and it says the Heron Project, and it's number 24. He was a basketball player that was an alcoholic, and uh, I've been wearing this now since the first week of my sobriety, uh, June of 2013. This was a gift sent to me by a friend of mine on Facebook, and I have not taken it off. I go to sleep with it. I go take my showers with it. It is a constant reminder besides doing videos and my website. These are constant reminders that yes, I am an alcoholic and I need to continuously educate myself. This is an education, but it is a reminder. Take a B vitamin supplement daily for your first week off alcohol and or drugs. You need to supplement yourself with some vitamins to clean out your system, to increase your immune system. Make lists. Lists, we talked about journals, we talk about videos, so make lists. Pros and cons. You will find that you won't like everything about uh, becoming sober by uh, tackling sobriety. There will be some things that you won't like, but you know what, folks? In anything you do in life, there are good and bad. I will tell you this, sobriety, whether it's drugs or alcohol, is 100% good. You'll never, ever want to go back to doing anything other than sobriety once you have hit rock bottom and you know what it's like to be on the other side. And I am on that other side waiting for you. I am waiting for you.
If you are tempted, try to utilize what you might look like, excuse me, if you are tempted, try to visualize what you might look like totally out of control. Sorry, I had to read that because I have it pasted on top of my laptop. Visualize what you would look like. I had a situation where a grandmother uh, has an issue with the grandson. Uh, we spoke about this in the previous segment. And uh, this uh, grandson totally goes out of control when he's on drugs. And I recommend it to the grandmother. Videotape him. Show it to him. My wife had to do the same for me. It is so clear to your mind when you see that because they say a picture speaks a thousand words and there is no lie in a video even more so visualize yourself what you might look like out of control look at somebody else that, that is out of control that could be you embrace the psychological benefits of cyber, uh, sobriety what that means is all the pluses that are out there the no hangovers the no memory lapses the clear thinking the, the good skin coloring the, the way you carry yourself think about all those those are all pluses that is another reason to stay sober remember the reasons why you quit in the first place remember those reasons why did you quit in the first place let's go over my list why did I quit number one because my life was going downhill. I was so close to death. Number two, my loved ones. Those are the two most important things, me and my loved ones. And then there are a load of other things, but the two most important things. And you have to remember, the reason I put number two for my loved ones is because number one has to be you. It has to be you. You want to have to be sober you want to have to live everything else falls into place so number two would be your loved ones do not avoid all situations where you would normally drink we spoke about trying to avoid as many as but don't avoid all of them example last year whatever whatever month it was I went to Applebee's with my mother my father and my wife knowingly that they have a bar knowing that my father at least my father would have something to drink but my parents had wine and I sat right across the table and did it bother me of course it bothered me it didn't bother me that they were drinking what bothered me is that I wasn't that's what bothered me but guess what folks I got past it I'm going forward I have not had one drop of alcohol since June 22nd 2013 and why is that folks It's because that's what I decided to do there is no magical potion that that eliminates the the craving for alcohol there's no magical potion that eliminates the urge for alcohol what it is it's you it's your thinking and you are hitting rock bottom com in combination of loving people and everything around you that makes you want to become sober and stay away from the alcohol and or drugs. Memorize inspirational thoughts. Yesterday when we did the motivation uh, segment, I quoted uh, approximately 30 inspiration motivational uh, either quotes or sayings. I have a copy of that. I'd be more than happy to give it to you. When I mention the contact information, write it down, get in touch with me, I'll give it to you. But yes, that is so important. And I'll give you one example real quick here. I hope the impact of this video or any one of my other videos is worth more to you than any amount of money, any house, any car, anything. Because your house, your money, your car cannot replace you like sobriety can keep you living a car can't can make you not drink a house can't make you not drink money can't buy you not drinking only you choose to be sober only you cho choose to get away from the drugs and or alcohol so this video hopefully has a deep hard impact on you or my other videos give yourself a prize for every day or every hour that you haven't had a drink 
And where should that prize go? If it's money, it goes where, folks? That's right, it goes into your sober wallet. If it's not money and it's other prizes, terrific. But give yourself a prize. Treat yourself as a little child. What do you do for children when they do good? You, you give them something. Positive reinforcing. Motivate them with a present. That's what you need to do to yourself. So that was the big one. Strategies for staying sober. Now, reaching out for support. This one we touch on every video. and We're going to go over it again. Ask for support. How do you ask for support? The f one way is to directly contact me when we go over the contact information. Put it down again. Contact me. But asking for support is important and we're going to go over that right now. Asking for support is done in a number of facet ways. One is to use utilize my methods. Remember in one of my other videos we spoke about I have 16 alternative steps to AA's 12 steps. You can utilize that. You can utilize my website. You can utilize my Facebook page. You can utilize these videos. These are so strong the message can't be any clearer for you so that is one st uh, one way of utilizing uh, support utilizing another support line would be to go to AA AA is a huge organization with with results that are great for the people that go there and that stick through it and that uh, uh, more or less love the way they uh, operate how they do things in other words and the reason I hesitated here is because I really don't have the exact meaning of what I'm trying to say because I did try AA. I tried it for maybe, I don't know, two, three classes or meetings, I should say, not classes, meetings. And I just felt uh, that um, it, it had an atmosphere of a big chat room. I just felt uh, intimidated. I felt uh, being left in the corner with the newcomers alone and all the old timers sitting over there and whispering and smiling. I just felt very uncomfortable. Um, so I didn't have a good feeling about it. So it's hard for me to explain. It's hard for me to promote AA because I didn't really go through it enough. But I will say this. Millions of people have utilized AA and millions of people have said that it works for them, the 12 steps. And listen, go to AA try the 12 steps if it's not for you come back try my 16 alternative steps my 16 steps work I am proof of that I am so much clearer about sobriety since I started June 22nd 2013 and I utilize those 16 steps not daily but throughout my sobriety so that's another way now if you are one of those uh, folks that is very severely into drugs and alcohol and you don't have a will and when I say you don't have a will that means you don't have a will to stop without supervision here's what you need to do you need to go to a rehab center that has a program that's either 30 60 or 90 days of 24 7 supervision they will constantly concentrate on helping you there is no time alone other than sleeping in bathrooms for you which is good because that's what you need because if you didn't need it you wouldn't be going so that is another method then you have other methods but I will say this and I say this in every segment my God our God created all of us you and me together to be a perfect human when we're born, we're born to be the way God created us to be. As we get older, we mold ourselves into something totally different. I molded myself into an alcoholic. Yes, it is a disease. I didn't choose that disease. However, I didn't uh, seek sobriety early enough in my life. It took 51 years for me to seek it. So I molded myself into an alcoholic. Now, if you mold yourself into something that's other than what God created, you can seek God and ask God for forgiveness and ask God to take you back into his arms and he'll remold really you back into what you were. 
AA works, my methods work, uh, uh, treatment centers work, but none of those work without God. Because God is the major role in our life. So no matter if you're a Christian or not, God plays a role in your daily living. So seek God, pray to God, ask God for answers, and, and by all means, ask Him for forgiveness. And then you have the Lions Club, and then you have the Knights of Columbus. So those are all supports that you can go with. You can also consider joining a support group online. They do have like AA online. I am considered a support uh, group online because I do support so many people in so many different states uh, that actually watch my videos and chat with me and text me. Uh, so I can be considered a, a support group online. Watch as sobriety changes your life in front of your own eyes and I see this daily. If you would have seen my video, my initial first video, and my wife laughs at this, but it was a total train wreck. I not only became sober June 22nd, 2013, but I've learned how to communicate my joy for sobriety and my methods of sobriety to you via uh, video. I've grown as a sober person, not only mentally, I've grown physically, I've become healthier. So folks, watch how sobriety just blossoms in your own life. Look in the mirror after a week, look in the mirror after six months and you'll see. Don't be afraid to talk about your experiences. Folks, I am not afraid to talk about my experiences because I do this a couple times a week. Last week I did six videos for a total of almost four hours. Don't be afraid. Talk to your wife, talk to your husband, your mother, your father, talk to your children. There is nothing wrong with improving yourself. There is nothing wrong for saving your life. And there is nothing wrong for being around for your loved ones. Admit to yourself and remember it that there is absolutely nothing in your life more important than this one thing. There is absolutely not one thing more important. Sure. There's an argument to be said that your wife, husband, son, daughter, mother, father are more important. But you know what? That's a no-brainer. But there is nothing more important than saving your life. Because if you don't save your life, the other uh, examples I just gave you, mother, father, wife, husband, children, are immaterial because you are gone. You are dead. So that's immaterial. Save your life. Make yourself number one and you'll be around for them. That I promise you. Now let's talk about contact information. My website, which has dozens, if not in the 20s now, of videos of myself testifying to sobriety, testifying about people not doing drugs, has tons of articles, has tons of other videos, those articles and those other videos are by doctors, psychologists, and psychiatrists. They are the ones that give you the medical uh, advice, the medical opinions. I take their opinions, their advice, and give it to you. My videos is from my own experience and from my studies. My studies have led me to contemplate now to becoming a substance abuse counselor, which I will seek to go through, and hopefully within two years I will succeed at doing that and, and uh, kind of uh, wean away from the optical field and go into this, uh, because I truly feel that this is my calling. I think uh, when we speak about God, I think God spoke to me and said, Ralph, you are worth more to me, me being a servant to God, to go out and try to save lives. And I truly believe that. So my website has those things. My website also on page seven, if you click on it, you go to your state, where, where wherever you might be, Florida, Texas, uh, Alaska, wherever you might be, go to that state and then click on the state and then find the area where you are and you'll hopefully find a treatment center near you. If you don't, go onto your uh, uh, internet service Go to the search bar, under Google, type in treatment centers, whatever town you're in, you'll find them there. So that is www.clearviews.info, that's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot I-N-F-O. That's my website. Now, if you need to talk to me or text me, this is the one number I'll give you for that. 
to talk to me on my cell phone is 631-599-0218 and you can also text me on that my cell phone is on 24 7 and texting is available at that uh, at, at that time also and most of the people that do uh, know me a lot know that they can get a hold of me mind you I am up most of the night seven days a week or excuse me it's six days a week there is one break that I do get because uh, with my business I have to deal a lot with China and India and because of the time difference I'm up at night uh, I'm up during the day too but uh, I'm pretty much up at night uh, and if I hear the text or the phone go off I promise you I will answer it you can also reach me on my business phone, which I'm the only person that has access to that phone, and that is 844-393-9355. You can also go on my Facebook page, which is clearviews.info, and then you have my email address. That's ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. So that is the contact information you need to utilize to get a hold of me. If you truly want to seek sobriety and, and eliminate drugs and alcohol, you have to have an action plan. I say this and I'll say it again. You cannot just use words and say, Ralph, I want to quit and that's it. You have to have an action plan and part of that action plan is continued education. You continuously need to educate yourself. I educate myself daily to do these programs that I do and the reading that I just did when you saw my eyes going up left right is studies that I find whether it's on Google or medical books or the Mayo Clinic these are studies that sinks into my head via my head to the video and and then we all get to study these so if you're going to seek sobriety you want to eliminate drugs and or alcohol you need to have an action plan and part of that action plan is uh, continued education Folks, you need to do that. I am here for you. I'll walk you through it. We can do it together. And folks, if you have an action plan and you want to, you want me to take a look at it and, and you know, give you my opinion, just like uh, I want your opinion, let me know how you think I'm doing. I really welcome opinions. If you go to my website on clearviews.info, you'll see a comment page and you'll see maybe a hundred different comments of what people think, how I impact them with these videos with my web page or my Facebook page so if you have an action plan you want me to, to take a look at it email it to me call me we can talk about it I will give you my honest opinion and you know what I have learned this uh, uh, probably as early as last August whatever your action plan is it will work as long as it does not include alcohol or drugs it doesn't matter what your action plan is just like it doesn't matter how you seek sobriety and how you get to sobriety it doesn't matter if it's AA it doesn't matter if it's me or if it's uh, if it's uh, a treatment center it does not matter what does matter are two things that God's included and sobriety is the outcome sobriety from drugs and or alcohol those two in combination will give you a balanced life God and sobriety together will give you a balanced life that's what matters so we talked about all these uh, uh, different ways and methods so I'm gonna recap quickly on this because we're up to 28 minutes I see the, we talked about beginning to quit talk to your doctor change your attitude try to pick up some date of a quitting time a quitting date Get rid of all bottles, cans, drugs. Get them out of your house. Throw them out. Don't put them down your toilet, please. And if you do throw them in the garbage, uh, make sure that the alcohol is drained down your sink as far as the pills. Um, seek, ask your doctor what to do with that because I really don't know. I'm not a medical uh, a doctor to even... I, all I do know is that you shouldn't flush and, and don't throw them in the garbage because it might get in the wrong hands. Feel your feelings. How do you feel about sobriety? Don't put yourself with people in situations like in bars and stuff that might get you into trouble. Strategies for getting sober. Let's recap. The initial stage, reduce the quantity of alcohol. If you're not ready to totally quit today, cut down from 12 beers to 6 to 3 to none. Zero. Enjoy the rest of your life being sober. Drink a lot of water. 
fill yourself up on water because the fuller you are on water, the less other liquids, the fuller you are on food because you need to dr uh, eat before you drink and do drugs anyway, the better off you are. Revise your recipes that call for alcohol. Get rid of all those recipes. Get rid of the cocktail recipes and, and go with the mocktail recipes. I have 10. Get in touch with me. I'll be more than happy to give them to you. If you're a scheduled drinker, change your times. If you're drinking every day at 4 o'clock to watch the news, start tomorrow at 6, the next day at 7, and then the following day is 0. Never again. You'll never drink again. You'll never do drugs again. That is your goal. That's what you're shooting for. Don't let guilt consume you. You're doing something that's positive to save your life. Let's talk about strategies for staying sober. Now I need to look up. Don't forget about that sober wallet. That could be your vacation. Could be a new car one day. Every time you would have bought a drink or bought alcohols, put that money into your sober wallet and save it. Buy a small piece of inexpensive jewelry to remind you of sobriety. Remember mine. Been there with me since June of 2013. Never comes off. Every time I look at it, I know why I'm wearing it. That's important. Take that vitamin B, build up your immune system. You need to do that. Uh, the drugs and alcohol brought your immune system down tremendously. Build it up now, especially the first week. If you're tempted, try to visual. Uh, if you are tempted um, to do any drugs or alcohol again, try to visualize yourself out of control. I've seen me out of control because somebody was lucky enough to take a picture of me or a video of uh, a loved one uh, that you might have taken. You might want to take a look at. Or that person that I told you about that uh, has a grandson that's totally out of control with drugs. I said, videotape him, show it to him. Big impact. Remember the reasons why you quit in the first place. For your loved ones and for you. More importantly, for you. You're number one for you. Because without you, your loved ones will always be your loved ones, but you might not be around to enjoy them. So do that. Stop for you. Don't avoid all situations uh, where you would normally drink. I told you the story about Applebee's. I will not, I repeat, I will not avoid going places just because I don't drink anymore. My life still goes on. Difference between before and after is A, the urges are less, B, temptation is less, and C, my mind is strong and I'm steadfast of being sober for the rest of my life. Memorize inspiration, motivational thoughts, and quotes. Went over that. Yesterday I did about a 30 of them. Anyone that needs to see any or all of them, by all means get a hold of me. One of them I'll go over real quick again. I hope my video draws your attention or leaves such an impact on you more than any car, money, or house could have ever done to you. Because this video or anyone else's educational tools to seek and help you uh, achieve sobriety is worth more than any car, house, or money because all those other objects can't get you to do what we are all trying to help you to do and that's for you to be 100% sober, get rid of the drugs, get rid of the alcohols, give yourself a prize for every day that and every hour that you are not drinking. Do that and if it's a money prize, throw it in that sober wallet, add those dollars up, big money okay now last reach out for support we spoke about the support you have my methods I have 16 alternative steps to AA's 12 steps then you have AA you can utilize treatment centers by all means any one of those three are no good without God you have to include God in whatever treatment that you choose include God he wants you to be the way he molded you, the way he created you. Consider joining an online group. Myself, they have AA online, consider doing that. But mind you, do not use that as an alternative to actually seeking support in person. Because online can distract you by watching TV or other things, so you need to have both. Don't be afraid to talk about your experiences. Don't be afraid at all. There's nothing to be embarrassed over. Because you are completing yourself as whole person. You are going back to what God created in the first place. That you were selfish enough to take away and, and try to create yourself into a whole different person that only got you into trouble. So 
when you're seeking sobriety and getting rid of drugs and alcohol, now you're going back to what God initially wanted you to be. And that is so good and I'm so proud of anyone that's deciding to do this. Admit to yourself and remember it that there is absolutely nothing in your life more important than this one thing. And I mean that. And you have to remember that. Yes, my wife is more important than anything in the world to me. However, if I don't really truly believe that sobriety is more important to me than my wife, then I am no good to my wife dead. Because without me being number one in sobriety for myself, there is no me. So what difference does it make? So number one is you, number two is your wife, husband, mother, father, whatever your case may be, okay? So we went over that really quick again. You have my contact information, 631-599-0218, ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. Then you have my webpage. It's www.clearviews.info, C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-S dot I-N-F-O. And then you have clearviews that info on Facebook and my business phone number is 844-393-9355. All those avenues, all that information as far as contact information, I'm available 24-7. Here's a special announcement. In a matter of a week or two, I will be uh, making copies of some of my uh, segments, some of my videos, and uh, if you want a copy Private message me on Facebook, send me an email, let me know, and I'd be more than happy to, uh, to get a copy to you. It will probably just highlight three segments at a time because of the time consumption. I mean, here I'm at 36 minutes. Usually DVD is anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours, so it allows me about three. But if you want one, get in touch with me. I'd be more than happy to get you uh, get one. And for my Facebook friends, I put three pictures on Facebook. All three have a picture of me, but with different sayings. I request that each and one, every one of you guys take a look at them and pick the one that you think I should use on my cover for my, my DVD. Pick one, and the majority wins. I've had a lot of feedback already. Uh, everybody's leaning kind of towards one, but I need everybody. I have 1,800 friends, and have your friends help. Help me pick out a cover for my DVD. I just want to thank everybody for coming by again. Today is another beautiful day from God here in the Hamptons. Beautiful weather, nice and warm. It's uh, uh, sometime, I think it's like after 12 o'clock or so, and uh, we have a whole nother day ahead of us here. So here it's a beautiful day. I hope wherever you are, it's a beautiful day. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Today is Wednesday. I hope to God I do another video before the end of the week. If not before the end, definitely by the weekend. Just have a great day. Remember, a sober today makes for a better tomorrow. And folks, if you believe it here, that you can be sober and you can get rid of the drugs and the alcohol, if you believe it here, you can achieve it there. That I promise you. Sober today makes for a better tomorrow. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the, rest of the weekend. And more importantly, have a sober day. God bless you.